Hey y'all, welcome to Spirit Tea Talks podcast with your spiritual big sis, Sin, from Divine Hoops. Join me to spill the hottest spiritual tea about co-creation, Santissima Muerte, numerology, astrology, and everything else you can think of. I'm here to inspire you and help y'all tap into your most authentic and divine self. So join me in this walk of life and know that you're not alone in this spiritual awakening. To be in the know or learn more, make sure to subscribe to our newsletter on divinehoops.com. I have also resurfaced my apothecary currently under Etsy as Divine Apothecary, that's D-I-V-Y-N, to get your altar conjure needs. For more insight and behind the scenes, make sure to join my Patreon under Divine Hoops. I'll see y'all soon. and y'all welcome back to spirit detox podcast with your spiritual big sis sin from divine hoops welcome to our ghoulish weirdish fuck around and find out soul fam i am so happy to have you back or if you're new here grab a chair sit down relax brew some tea get your coffee and be here for the tea what's poppin so happy to have you here. I am thrilled to kind of come back. Didn't realize that there was such a big break in between from the last episode, but I felt the need to talk some some shit, I guess. You know, and that's the beauty of the reason why I'm doing now bi-weekly episodes for the reason that is, like I mentioned, quantity no not quantity quality over quantity because in the process of me brewing the tea for y'all something always comes in store where I'm just like oh yeah we definitely gotta talk about this and in the meantime I am working on x y and z and really kind of tapping into spirit even more so because now I have the time to do my rituals or my apothecary and all of that so I want to talk about something more in depth for today's episode and we'll we'll jump into it because we do have our spirit tea segment because it is a full moon today a Leo full moon at that and it is officially going to be our first full moon ritual of 2024 the service that divine hoops has been providing and I am so excited because this is definitely something that I've been looking forward to do instead of doing consistent um you know if y'all knew me for a long time I was doing almost everyday group rituals for the longest time and eventually I was just like I think I'm getting burnt out like I feel burnt out I feel like it's time for me to like kind of free myself in a way that like it's it's more beneficial for me long story long I am finally launching the first big ass ritual (laughs) that is going to be happening once a month so if you missed out on this ritual make sure to uh, come back for next month's full moon I'm also opening up for because okay so this full moon ritual is a three by three burn meaning that it's going to be a combo uh ritual for three different things we're gonna do protection we're gonna do abundance like abre caminos and we're also going to do discipline why discipline right it's a little like okay makes sense protection and road opening okay discipline why in order to sustain and obtain the clearing of the roads the abundance and then the protection over those abundance we got to have discipline in ourselves so that's why i'm also adding the discipline in this full moon and uh just as of right now i just launched it it i'm adding a small segment a small segment a small ritual along with the big ass ritual so among all of that energy i am also adding the release me ritual and as we are familiar with full moons, full moons are to release and to kind of help you move forward with anything that is heavy 
in your mind, body, and spirit. So I'm adding a release me ritual. So that's available for y'all as well. And um, what else is going on? Oh, all packages go out this week. Please bear with me, y'all. I have over 30 packages. Y'all really did that thing with the pre-orders for the love oil for Santissima. All the new things that I'm launching with Santissima, the Roja and the Rosa. Y'all did that. And I see y'all getting y'all's grimoires to start notating and, you know, journaling. I love that. So, I have over 30 packages. This also includes my Patreons, which I'm going to start giving you guys a special motherfucking shout out because y'all are doing it. (laughs) Y'all are really here, yo. So, I am so incredibly grateful to have all of you. And that includes, let me see if I can get all the names popped in right here, right now. We have Des, Ashley, GGA, Jardina, Joanna, Shannon, B. Ooh, not B. Just kidding, but I like her. Um, who else? Snow, Rosie. Oh, or B. Yes, B. Just kidding. Caesar, Trills, Mini, Maria, Elizabeth, and Gigi as well. Thank you guys so, 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 so fucking much. I'm like, I don't ever look at this section of it. Um, I hope you guys are enjoying our little community. And I will be talking with y'all very soon. If you guys aren't aware, I do have a Patreon starting at 555 to kind of join in to this beautiful little uh, soul fam that we have created. Where you can ask other people questions as well and learn from whatever I am teaching at the moment or talking about. This is really to enhance you and yourself all all in one. Other than that, I don't have anything else for now. There is some new things coming up, but as always, just keep a lookout. Subscribe to the newsletter on divinehoops.com. Make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel so we can get some more shit popping on the YouTube. I will be reporting there very, very soon. Bear with me. And what else new everything's coming up if y'all didn't see i have like my candles already ready to go as well uh valentine's day collection is about to be completed next week so by the first of february everything's gonna be launched and ready to go so excited for that and yeah divine hoops is just here to spill some tea so make sure to stick around thank you for joining and let's go ahead and get into what is the spirits gotta say segment because it is the full moon i'm going to be using my queen of the moon oracle deck but i love this deck honestly this is one of my faves and i always bring it out during this time so what does the collective need to hear have pleasure okay this full moon looking like pleasure peace okay give me one more let's let's, oh and that one jumped beginnings okay pleasure peace and beginnings you know what this is giving this is giving like you are walking in this path and walking on this path really confidently like you don't even know where it's taking you and you don't really care for where the destination is you care for more of the journey and what it is around you and what you're seeing what you're feeling and that's what is giving uh for this full moon energy of kind of like letting things go with the flow with the pleasure something that is more peaceful and you know something that it may be new that excites you Um, This also gives me the sense that a lot of you may be feeling like, I don't got time for that. (laughs) I don't got fucking time for that. So if it's not serving me and it's not feeding life into me, I don't want it. Take that back. And you know what that does? That opens up a portal because this uh, beginnings card is like a portal. It's a picture of a portal. And that's what I'm seeing. Like being in touch.
touch with what matters to you, being in touch with what actually brings you joy. And I don't mean like those like little doses of dopamine here and there. Like no, the consistency. You know what I, what I'm picturing right now? Like when you you have a drink, and alcohol gives you the the dopamine effect, right? But it doesn't last long. And then if it does, then you know this alcoholism and you know bad bad shit just all around, right? Like really bad vices. So that's not it it's like a lot of us are kind of stepping into this healthier lifestyle of like that's not giving me a consistency pleasure a consistency of peace of mind it's only giving me like moments and I don't need moments I don't deserve moments and you sure the fuck don't so tapping into that like energy of like this is what I'm deserving and this is what I want out of it so this is what I'm going to do. And doing so is putting in those boundaries and saying no more of this. I want something that is longevity and that is fulfilling. And good for you because that's what I'm seeing a lot of us uh, doing for this full moon. And from here on out, this is the first full moon of the new calendar year. So I think it kind of gives you that sense of like, having to start things off the right path i don't know about y'all but as soon as and it's so weird because like it wasn't planned it wasn't like i was paying attention to what was going on astrology like astrologically um i was just kind of my own little world but as soon as like aquarius season started i was just like fuck everybody that doesn't serve me and not that like i've been carrying a lot of that burden because if y'all know me and y'all have heard me say like i had already been shedding that Uh, for the past few months the reason why i started planning for 2024 back in like um october was because i was ready to like level up and october was really a pivotal moment in my life uh, especially because i was already planning on doing big changes i you know i stopped being friends with somebody that i was holding me back for many many years and just kind of seeing my worth a lot more and where divine was heading all of it you feel and Again, not that I was carrying this like excessive like heaviness, but there was certain things and if y'all have been on my life about crashing weddings and shit, it ain't gonna happen no more because I was just like, why? Like it's so toxic, it's so not fulfilling, it's fun. Like we laugh about it, you know, if those who have been on my life, we've laughed about it and you know, it makes me giddy and shit, but it's not consistency and it's not something that I want to look back and being like oh wow like there was moments and times where I was uh suffering not suffering but like in pain because this person was not being there fully committed to me or fully showing up for me and then now we're here like a struggle story I don't want a struggle story I don't know about y'all like I've mentioned before I don't want I want to learn my lesson first round because I am not trying to go through what I have gone through in the past because that that's just for the birds I'm gonna listen to spirit when spirit says go and I'm gonna go when spirit says stop I'm gonna stop because I'm not trying to be stubborn and hard-headed anymore and I still have my moments I'm not perfect I'm not perfect that's what I'm saying like it took me this long as soon as Aquarius season like hit that I was just like I'm not I'm not dealing with this anymore I'm not dealing with these people that are just small doses dosages of dopamine I don't need that because if that was the case, then I would just be drinking alcohol. And for that, for that even alone, I've stopped even drinking alcohol like that. I think I might maybe have like a couple of drinks here and there once a month. And that's it. Like I don't need it because I know that like my current life and my current situation is a consistent dopamine. It's a consistent peace of mind. It's a consistent pleasure. And because of that, there's like new things that always arise and I love that and I feel like a lot of us as a collective are starting to realize the importance of like temporary and long longevity and it seems as though like this is the perfect time to kind of do that releasing so if you haven't booked the releasing ritual go ahead and do so if you're listening (laughs) before uh the 26th of January but long to say long to say that 
I love the way that this is coming about because it is time to kind of surrender to what spirit, what God, what Santissima has been kind of putting in place for us. So I love that. I'm here for that. So damn. Okay. This was a good little spirit tea segment. Did y'all feel that in y'all soul yet? <laughs> because I felt that. Ooh, child. Okay. So let's go ahead and get started with today's episode. Let's go ahead and take it to the altar, y'all. And not that kind of altar. Hey, y'all. So, welcome to the real motherfucking tea. Whew, I think that was a good little um, tea segment that we got going on. I feel like that flew very well and super on theme with the full moon energy reason why i love that tarot uh that tarot is oracle deck um the oracle deck is because it's it feels like it's super tapped in um all of my oracle decks and i've had these majority of these 90 percent of them for like five plus years so like we go way back <laughs> we go way back um man i really want to talk about uh taking it to the altar when consulting with Santa Muerte with spirit with God whomever but in this particular section is you know a majority of this is like Santa Muerte because that, that's that's my queen that's the main honcho so whenever I talk about spirit it's mostly it's mostly Santa Muerte just to like be clear but there's something that I've noticed um as a reoccurring thing something that has helped me in my devotion with Santa Muerte is how to how do you say it how to kind of uh, intensify my relationship with her and what do I do whenever I have like big emotions and just kind of feeling a little bit overwhelmed I always take it to the altar In doing so, it brings me so much more joy and it brings me so much more peace. And I know that a lot of you that are listening could even relate in doing so. And as always, I'm going to give an example. (laughs) Because y'all know me. I don't talk about things and I hope you guys are catching on to this. I don't ever talk about things that I don't resonate that I have not done so myself I talk about all of this because of life experiences the reason why this podcast is the way that it is is because these are life experiences of my own and I'm walking this life with y'all alongside of y'all and most importantly I'm walking it next to Santissima you know she has my back completely and leads me to my highest and most greatest self and for that i am very thankful and grateful for during this time um that i've learned the phrase take it to the altar it really was when i first started my devotion because during this time i was already it felt like my life was falling apart like consistently and it just felt so so weird to the point where so I started my devotion with Santissima and my family being Catholic and not fully in acceptance of like what I'm doing or who I'm devoting myself to uh (laughs) it's it was for a while that like I even tried to hide how much I was going through because I didn't want to hear that like pues ves mira con quien estás rezando mira con quien estás like blaming it on Santissima that like my life was the way that it was because of the energy that I had around like me which was Santissima so for the longest time I just never I had stopped I had stopped really I started making my problems not being so like, oh, it's it's just fine. And to this day, like people that were involved in my situation, they can tell you like, oh yeah, we didn't know it was that bad. 
Yeah, because I didn't want y'all to judge me and judge my practice and say that it was because of that. Because nine times out of ten, it was going to come out that like, oh, well, maybe you should reconsider like what you're doing. And it's just like this. It's not it. It's the decisions that I'm making. This is all me. Like, I'm the human here that could be making better decisions. So I started just kind of relying on talking to Santissima whenever shit was just hitting the fan or like when I was just really low there'd be times that like I I just sit there and I really felt the motherly essence of her so that's why I always say like whenever you're having a freak out moment whenever you feel stressed overwhelmed confused whatever the case may be like go to the altar just sit there you're about to get the biggest downloads they are because you're just there enjoying yourself with her and allowing yourself to feel things and allowing yourself to be vulnerable with her and she appreciates that so much because to her it's like you you see her you truly see her and it's not just wanting something out of her a lot of people start devotion with Santissima, not out of love, not out of having that missing piece and her like fulfilling that, but because they want to ask her for things. And that, the relationship is not even a relationship, it's just a one way street. But when you are true to your devotion and are loving to her and show her all this compassion, even with your other spirits, even with your ancestors, it's about allowing yourself to be vulnerable and. I don't want to say other deities because I don't know a specific way that it is. But I know like with my ancestors and with Santissima, this is how it is. It's like I'm able to be vulnerable. I'm able to kind of cry shit out. Um, even with Lilith, I think there's times where I, like, I've just had enough and she brings that power back, back to me. You know what I mean? So in doing so, always checking with God, Spirit, Santissima, your ancestors before anything else. I love that a lot of my Patreon uh, members, my loves, shout outs to y'all. Like, I've, I talked about it so much that now, like, they started implementing it and they're like, yeah, dude, like, I just go to my altar sometimes and I just sit there and all of a sudden I just start crying. I didn't even realize that, like, I had to cry or I had to, like, vent about anything. But, like, she brings me this, some, like, this sense of peace and it's because you're allowing yourself to be open to communicating with her you're allowing yourself to be vulnerable uh with her and to her so she can kind of better communicate with what needs to happen so i love that because even so and i know that sometimes it's hard i know that there's been times when people are just like i feel a little ashamed because i haven't gone to the altar i haven't been able to look at her in the eye and i feel like i am like putting like I'm, I'm like, I haven't done my part. I feel like I'm letting her down. And you know what? A lot of us have felt this way, myself included. Like where you just can't, because you just, your life is in shambles. You feel out of whack and whatever the case may be that you just feel like, oh, I feel really off. And you kind of have to like check yourself because you you're still human (laughs) i feel like a lot of us that like start our spirituality or are even in in deep in our spirituality we tend to forget that like yo we're human (laughs) we're not um like unbeatable like there's gonna be things in our life that are gonna happen that are, are gonna make us feel these emotions like it's life like it's okay to feel like you're gonna let her down but most most times you're not (laughs) most times you're not I remember when I was finally freeing myself from you know such a heavy situation and I was in a very very dark place in my mind and I couldn't even get up to pray it was so bad like I would lay in bed and cry even more more because I'm just like I can't even I don't have the strength to get up and like talk to her because I know that she will help me I know that she will and I think this went on for like a good month where like I couldn't 
I couldn't do it until eventually I just started feeling really overwhelmed and extremely, extremely dark. Like my mind was just going to like the darkest place there ever was. And I was just like, oh no, like I need to do something. So the one thing that I did for myself to kind of give myself some strength was a healing jar. And within that healing jar, I ended up doing a healing oil that months after I ended up like actually selling it because it helped me so much during that time frame and that jar like just doing that one initiation of like I'll have to get up and go to the altar was what got the ball rolling into like my shadow self again and seeing things for what they really were I I made big changes and it, it was just a process you know it's not gonna happen overnight and never nothing ever really that is good and beautiful ever just happens overnight so this really did take a time period but I remember I remember how it felt to finally like shake myself off and at least do something about it like and I cried and I cried and I cried and I cried and I apologized and I apologized and I'm just like I am so sorry that like I wasn't here that I wasn't there and it was very difficult because during this time too it felt as though everyone around me is just like you need to get your shit together (laughs) you need to shake it off and anybody that's ever gone through like a very hard time the last thing that we need to hear especially when it's fresh is that like we gotta do better and like kind of people looking at us in disgust of like you're still crying about it you still like mourning about that you still feel like the way that you feel and it's been it's been a month it's been two months it's been three months whatever the case may be uh sidebar i actually had um my my baby daddy's mistress that told me that i had to get over it and sis it was only five months like huh and she's just like i got over it when my baby daddy cheated on me like right away girl for starters uh you're the color of my palm you might be moving a lot different than I do baby girl so I remember carrying that disgust with me for such a long time being told from somebody who is so disgraceful that I had to get over it and I'm here to tell y'all you don't gotta get over shit the only thing that you gotta do is get yourself moving get yourself to do better and not stay in this fucked up low vibrational frequency that is not going to elevate you or is going to help you long run you do need to do something about it but you're entitled to feel however the fuck you feel for however fucking long as long as you don't stay living in the past as long as you do something about it and when i got up and started being at the altar and taking it to the altar i started to realize oh this is what it is to really be tapped in is the fact that whatever i'm going through whatever i'm feeling i can just take it to the fucking altar i'm feeling fucking tired i've had a long day i'm gonna take it to the altar and sometimes before i even call my best friends and vent to them about it i go and vent to her and i'm just like let me tell you about this fucking bitch or let me tell you about my day let me tell you about these shoes that just broke on like, you know what i mean like and she loves it. She absolutely loves it. Santissima is here for it. Just like your ancestors. I feel like the ancestor relationship and the Santa Muerte relationship are kind of the same in many different ways. In many different and very similar ways. So she loves it. So I'm starting to like implement that more because it feels like a lot of us and it just it's fine. There's some codependencies on there that we still kind of have to heal. But in the same grand scheme of things, like we kind of have to allow ourselves to be in the emotions and like process it, talk to her and being like, okay, 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 all right. Literally, I just had a whole conversation and those who got it, got it. If you understood me, you 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 ride with me. You ride with me. You ride with me. That all those okay's was a whole ass conversation. 
and it doesn't have to be so deep and in depth and it doesn't have to be all this you know it doesn't it, but it just needs to be authentically you and bringing your energy to santisima uh, to kind of assist you with whatever you need to do okay so what if you don't have an altar what if you don't have an altar um if right now you're in the process of like your devotion and such i still would girl let me tell you I could be out and about and I'm holding on to my necklace or whatever I have of hers. I carry my little Santa Muerte roll-on oil, which y'all could get on Etsy. Currently on Etsy, y'all have my roll-on oils to go. Now y'all can have that energy wherever the fuck you go, ma'am. And I be rolling. I be using the fuck out of my oils because I'm just like, oh God, I'm feeling stressed or I'm feeling abundant or whatever the case is. I feel like I'm tapping into her whenever I'm using that oil. And then I hold on to... I carry a small little statue with me everywhere I go too. So I grow up the statue and I'm just kind of like talking to her. And I'm, I might look a little crazy. I don't care. But like, you know, or even in my head sometimes I'm just like, girl, did you just see that shit? You know what I mean? Like, you don't necessarily have to have an altar to take it to the altar. It is a little helpful. I'm not going to lie to you. It's not... It's, it's, it's helpful. But, you know, in some circumstances, I know that some people have to be, you know, low-key with their devotion. I've been there, done that myself. I know how that feels. But I'm just saying, there's ways around it. I feel like a lot of us try to overcomplicate things when, in reality, everything just has to come from the heart. And once everything comes fruitfully and naturally and authentically from your heart, things are just going to start developing. Your relationship with Santissima, your relationship with God, your relationship with your ancestors, your relationship within yourself just comes out a whole lot better and just watch watch what happens when you do end up taking it to the altar how much broader and how much more how much more and more like comes out of that because you're feeding energy you got to think about it you're basically transmuting energy into something better to come out whether that is just you venting whether that's you saying thank you whatever the case may be when you're taking it to the altar you're basically transmuting that energy into something grander and santissima is not going to transmute that shit into something negative for you you know what i mean like she's going to help you like elevate it that's why i always say take it to the altar you're feeding energy to it you're transmuting energy you're working with your spirits that are listening that are going to guide you into bringing you something more from what you're experiencing i like the first example that i had given right that like i didn't go to my altar for like a month and i just felt like i'm disappointing her i'm disappointing her and honestly that felt like the longest fucking month of my life because that was the one time that like i could honestly say that i wasn't as devoted because we've had those moments but it was a month it wasn't like it was years it was just a month and even within that month i kept looking at her statues and i'm just like gosh how am i going to get back into this like how am i going to get back into the groove of it like i was doing so well but life is kicking my ass life is life in right now and i just can't seem to get a grip and out of all of that finally doing the healing jar finally just kind of saying you gotta get up bitch like you gotta do it and then working on a healing oil and then that healing oil i sold over like three boxes of those three boxes of 12 so you you know and it helps so many to this day i still get people like messaging me like of their bottles and asking me when am I gonna make more when am I gonna make more and unfortunately because I didn't even write down the recipe I literally just let spirit I let Santissima guide me with that oil I can't even replicate the same the same healing oil I'm working on it but do you see how beautiful that was of the fact that I finally had gone to the altar took it to the altar it helped me and I created something beautiful out of it she transmuted that fucking pain into something alchemy is y'all need to look into it y'all need to look into it and if you're my patreon we're gonna be talking more about it trust and believe babies so with that 
take it to the altar, feel feel confident and take it easy because things are you know, I can just say things are not as just as heavy as they may seem, but I I fucking get it just because I remind myself of that time, that one month that I was just laying in bed and constantly feeling so shitty and not even having the energy to do it. So before things get really, really dark or you feel like you're not doing a good job or if anybody has ever told you you're a disappointment or tries to fear monger you into Santissima, any of her cloaks, I just had somebody message me telling me that like she had bought a Black Santa Muerte for protection for her business and somebody had told her like, basically like fear monger her saying like she's super like what it was the word that she used let me see if i can find it and it makes me so upset when people try to like not give enough information of like why are you saying this shit that you're saying like why are you even putting your two cents in when you're not going to give this person the reality of it uh oh aggressive that she was going to be aggressive towards her that the black santa muerte was going to be aggressive towards the dlt y'all it don't even get me started because we're gonna go on another tangent and i'm not trying to do you how i did y'all last time with the one hour session however i'm gonna leave it here and y'all are gonna take it to the altar right y'all are gonna write it down if you have the energy to write it down and just burn it y'all can do that for the full moon this is writing it and releasing okay take it outside and just releasing it with the full moon whatever the case may be just do it just fucking do it it's not gonna harm you it's not gonna do anything it's just going to amplify take it to the fucking altar and and if you guys haven't done so already go ahead and subscribe to the patreon only if only let me say this because i see people that like and this is no like no shade or anything but when you sign up to the patreon this is not a step-by-step or a guide for spell works i don't give you guys insight of how i do things however i do help you guys tap in into yourselves so it's a lot of just talks it's a lot of random shit it's a lot of like chats it's a community top tiers are the ones that get like freebies okay on a monthly basis so i'm just letting y'all know because i feel like a lot of y'all may be expecting this like guide for all things 101 it's just like no sis like there's things there take what you can leave what you don't want but don't come in and then come out you feel me so but still fill it out how y'all see if the patreon is you know what it is for y'all and uh newsletter subscription and all of that so i i'm gonna yeah like i said i'm gonna end it here i'm gonna do the extended version on my patreon (laughs) and let y'all know what y'all can do for this full moon because y'all gonna be listening this before it it pops out pops out before it released to the public jesus oh my god (laughs) take it to the altar y'all talk to mommy I know that it could be difficult sometimes if you feel ashamed, if you feel like you've done something wrong. As long as you haven't left her for no man, for no woman, if you haven't broken her statue, if you haven't stole shit from her, you can talk to her. You can talk to her. So, until next time, the next episode is going to be our Valentine's exclusive. Y'all are going to want to stick around for this next next episode of spirit detox podcast and if you haven't done so already go ahead and leave a review a five-star review on spotify and apple Podcasts, wherever you listen leave some feedback i love to hear from y'all the more that y'all interact with this podcast the more it gives me like oomph it feeds my soul so show some love i appreciate you guys thank you so much for the support and i will talk to you guys soon